Hey everyone, so I'm gonna be doing another organizing video where basically I put everything from my last haul into my binder. And so if you guys haven't checked out my last monthly haul, I will go ahead and card that up here. But basically I have all of this stuff to put into my binder and it's like kind of not a lot of stuff, but I also asked you guys some questions to answer during this organizing thing just because I felt like I'm very personable in my live streams but not really in my videos and I always like private my streams anyway so so I posted a community tab and have you guys send them to me through an Instagram story so I'm going to go ahead and answer this so let me know what you guys think I probably won't be talking too much about my process this time probably be more focused on answering the questions but let me know if you guys prefer hearing about my process or if you guys prefer me answering questions or just like I don't know maybe I can find a little medium between both but anyways I'm gonna get right into it I'm gonna start with my joy binder and then I will get into like my binder of the rest of the girls okay so I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about my process I guess since I last time I think a thing that I like an area where I messed up was I really could have pre-planned everything and where I wanted to put it and I kind of did that but this time around I'm going to actually lay out the cards before I start placing them so that's what I'm gonna do but okay first things is that the Reva Festival uh, cash B card will have to go in and the sliding is like kind of not what's up. I hope it's in focus because I'm just gonna put this on autofocus. So yeah, actually I left a spot for this cash B card so this is gonna go here and I'm just gonna start answering questions. Okay, this is a question that I really actually like and it is actually from Butterfly Go On and it says tips for being a good group order manager. Um, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily like the greatest group order manager but I do think that I do a pretty good job of handling them anyone who's read my group order if you think otherwise just let me know but I think the most important thing about group orders or like managing group orders is oh my god this back is so pretty I think it's in focus but I'm not a hundred percent sure but anyways so Tips for being a good group order manager, I think is for one, just keeping your buyers updated. I know so many group order managers who don't really update their buyers and don't really give them a whole lot of information. So buyers are left in the dust for a while. So I think that is a really important thing and also just like doing your research, I guess. Um, I guess it doesn't hurt to ask other group order managers, but like making sure that you know everything about your supplier or know what shipping method you're getting or just knowing if your supplier is reliable, I guess. Does that make sense? I kind of felt like that answer was all over the place, but yeah, just like the most important thing is keeping your buyers updated because like obviously without the buyers, you won't have a group order. And I guess in terms of like trying to get your group order out there, you can always post about it in Facebook groups. I join a lot of K-pop Facebook groups, so I always post about them in there. And another thing is just keeping your information organized. Like, um, I usually update my buyers through email, but like you can do something as simple as creating a Instagram group chat. And then what I usually do is I usually have people fill out a form where it has like their Instagram username and their address and stuff like that, just to make everything easier to keep track of. And you can actually like export that to a spreadsheet and stuff. Anyways, I think I spent too long on that, but I'm just gonna get all of my joy cards out. Let's see, is that it? Yeah, that is it. Also, if I don't answer your question, I might just circle back around and answer them in another video. So don't come for my neck if I don't answer your question. Somebody said, what am I studying in college? And in college, I am currently studying digital design. Just growing up, I have always loved digital design. Like, ask anyone who knows me. Yeah, I've always just loved it for some reason. Like, I literally was photoshopping Hannah Montana and High School Musical at such a young age. And I feel like recently, I've kind of lost my passion for it. But I am trying to get back into it. So I'm currently in my third year. And okay, let me lay out these cards before. You know, there's not too many, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. But I 
think I'll land it like that. And the reason why I don't actually have Joy's Kino card is because I had it on a way from a group order and I actually pulled it in my own Kino. And so I traded the one from my actual Kino away for Irene's and then I will hopefully get the one from the group order anytime soon or sometime soon. So how does your fan sign slot turn out? Someone asked me and if you guys don't know, I think they're talking or referring to my Park Bomb fan sign slot that basically IOS Collective scammed me and if you guys have missed that, I will throw that in the car somewhere up here like that haul. But basically, PayPal just decided that I can send the album back to them and I will get a refund. But the only issue is, is that like I sent it out, but I think the package got lost in the mail like I have tracking, but it hasn't updated in a month. Like. It, the last update was uh, August 7th, so I'm kind of like scared the package is lost. I'm gonna have to actually contact the post office about that, but yeah, everything seems so promising until the post office decided they wanted to fuck me over. Hardest thing about collecting an SM artist. I feel like the hardest thing about collecting an SM artist is that you kind of never catch a break. And if they're not having a comeback, like, then they're releasing merch from the comeback. And then if they're not having goods from the comeback, then they're having like random goods, like the Time to Love goods, um, right before the Zimzala Bim comeback, which was like really random. So with SM, they just will always find an opportunity to take your money somehow, which I'm kind of not complaining because for me personally, I like constantly having to get stuff. I just like being so involved in my photo card collection. When I just get like too stagnant, it kind of decreases my interest in collecting, I guess. So I guess it's like a kind of a double-edged sword. Like a lot of people would take that as a negative, but for me personally, it's both. Someone asked me for my favorite Joy outfit. This kind of goes in hand with another question that somebody asked me and it says, my favorite red velvet concept of all time. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna take a little break from that question is, okay, so the Kino card is gonna go here and I'm not sure if they're gonna be releasing any Oompa Oompa like stickers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna deal with that later when I have to reorganize everything. But yeah, I'm gonna put this placeholder in for the Kino card. Okay, so my favorite Joy outfit is very obviously, like anyone who watches my channel, anyone who has watched a few of my videos knows this answer by heart. They always know what I'm gonna say. It's always Joy and the freaking rainbow dress. Like, oh my God, love that outfit so much. And my favorite concept has always been peekaboo, like the perfect velvet concept. I'm just very into, I don't know why I keep flipping back and forth. I'm like trying to debate where I wanna put this card. Favorite all-time concept, but I think I'm just very into royal concepts and like, just concepts that look very expensive. Like with BTS, I think that they cannot top the blood, sweat, tears concept. Don't cover my neck, okay, this is a personal opinion. Basically, I just love expensive concepts, like very elegant ones, so. I think I'm more drawn towards that. And that kind of ties into my next question, which, Somebody asked me, what do I think the concept for day three will be? And I'm really hoping that we'll get a velvet concept just because for me personally, I'm more drawn to velvet concepts and I just would really <laughs> like die for another velvet concept because the last velvet concept we really got was uh, Bad Boy. And I know RBB was technically a velvet concept, but I don't know, like for me personally, I, she felt more red than velvet, so I just really want a velvet one. Next I'm gonna be putting in the fan club poster, and I am just gonna put Joy's in my binder, and I'm gonna be using a full page sleeve, so I'm actually gonna go all the way to the back of my binder. But yeah, I'm really hoping since this comeback is supposed to kind of encompass their sound and like their style or whatever and like show off their versatility. Really hoping that we'll get a velvet one. Okay, and then another question that I got was how do you store the velvet sticker? So for me personally, I have a few stickers that actually don't fit in any of the pages. So I put all of my stickers that don't fit all into one page. And this is actually supposed to be in the center, but it likes to slide. <laughs> But yeah, this is basically how I chose to display my velvet stickers. And we're gonna go. And so I'm just getting a big pocket page out. But I think this is a good question. Somebody asked me, have I ever 
had to face prejudice from people once they knew that you listened to K-pop? Um, not really. Like, I, no, no one was really ever like, oh, hell no, I'm not gonna talk to this kid because he's into K-pop. But I will say that, and I'm keeping this because I'm a hoarder, but I will say that in middle school, I had this very vivid memory of, that was like my blackjack phase when I was hella into 21, and I still am, but um, obviously they're not doing anything, so. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So basically, uh, the I Am The Best music video had just come out and I was playing it on my phone for like some of my friends or whatever, and then this girl came over who was kind of my friend. We talked to each other regularly, but we weren't really like that good of friends. She sat down to watch as well, and then she just kind of laughed at the whole thing, and um, that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way like in the moment I was very like oh ha 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 you know because like what am I gonna do oh bitch why the fuck are you laughing like I like this music you know which I guess ideally like in an ideal world if I was bold I would have done that but I just kind of sucked it up and I was like oh you know so oh my god this is so pretty and this is what the back looks like if anyone is curious that is like kind of the only time I ever had to face prejudice I feel like prejudice is such a heavy word and I'm just like talking about very minuscule light-hearted examples but like okay I think that was it for everything that I'm going to put in this binder so I'm going to be switching to my other binder which has more a variety of like the other artists that I'm collecting. So here's my other binder and for any of you guys who are curious, this binder is just my non-joy binder so anything that isn't joy goes in here. I do have all of these cards to put in here as well as Irene's little postcard. So um, another question that I got, which I will kind of combine with another question, Someone asked me any tips for new red velvet collectors, and someone also asked me tips on finding rare goods. So with rare goods, I would recommend that you use international sites like Bunchong and Macari Japan because it is easier to find stuff on there, like it pops up a lot more and it's not as expensive as it would be on eBay. And so usually you can use that and in order to order from those sites, you actually have to use a proxy service. And the proxy service that I use are all that sales for Bunchong and Japonica from Macari Japan. And actually, and I actually do have a video film Films, but I just need to film the tutorial part of that video and I hopefully am and I'm hoping to actually release that video soon but basically I give you guys a rundown of the proxy services and then I tell you guys how to buy from them and how fees work and stuff like that so if there's any specific questions that you guys have that you want me to address I will be more than happy to answer those on Instagram but hopefully that video will cover everything and that it will be posted soon and just for tips of red velvet collectors, um, don't pay insane prices for photo cards because albums are still in print, so no photo cards are really out of print. I do have a whole video on buying tips and tips in general, so if you want to check that out, I will link my beginner's guide in the cards. But I would say work in the current era, which um, I've heard other YouTubers give this advice, but and it's just always easier and cheaper to get stuff as it's readily available. So for example, like the Oompa Oompa merch is about to come out anytime soon. So when it does come out, I highly recommend that you get it because um, it will be like probably the cheapest you'll ever see it because after that, like it goes out of print and then resellers who bought a shitload of it will be selling it for insane prices. That's not always the case, but I just prefer to always play it safe than wait, so. Currently what I'm doing is I'm putting all of my day two photo cards in here. This Yeti card is so freaking cute. My mouth is getting kind of dry, guys. I kind of suck at multitasking, like talking and trying to organize these cards. So someone asked me, what's the most stressful part when it comes to collecting? I think the most stressful part about collecting is like for me personally, I am a completionist, so I feel like I always have to have everything right that second, right? And I feel like I've talked about this before. Sorry, this card is like kind of bothering me, so I'm gonna fix it. 
but something I've like talked about this before and it's kind of pathetic but I <laughs> retail therapy is a very real thing for me and I am seeing a therapist about it before you guys come from my neck and it, like it sounds very ridiculous but for some reason it's just a thing for me like I always need to have like if the good comes out in Korea, I have to have it that exact moment and I'm just very impatient as well. I think that also plays a factor. And so the most stressful thing about collecting for me is that when stuff doesn't have an online sale, it's very hard to get. Like before they were having the online sale with the fan meet goods, I was having a heart attack about them because I was like, oh fuck, like how am I gonna get these if they're an only in-person sale? And I, it's like very ridiculous, I know. They ended up doing an online sale, but they never said that they would. So basically I just got <laughs> fucked over and paid insane prices for this stuff. But yeah, that is one thing about collecting that is stressful for me. It's just feeling the need to have absolutely everything at the exact moment it comes out. Ooh, I like this question. This one's not so much about collecting, but they asked me what is my most listened to musician, both K-pop and regular K-pop. So I will actually show you guys my top 25 played. So first things first, I'm not really sure why this is the picture of my playlist. I made this when I was trying to be all grungy and aesthetic and I thought this would be a cute playlist cover for some reason, but this is basically my top 25 played most songs. So as you can see, Red Velvet is on here and I think it has about like 4,000 plays. And then, um, Boss Fifth Harmony, Girls' Generation, I went through a phase where I had this playlist of Girls' Generation title tracks and religiously listened to that. So that's how I Got A Boy has such a high count. Um, a lot of this is Fifth Harmony, um, Rather Be. I'm not really sure why that's on there. Like, I don't really listen to that song now. Boom Ya and Whistle, like the summer that it came out, I religiously listened to. And yeah, here is just all of my stuff, more um, Fifth Harmony, Girls Day, Female President doesn't get enough credit, I love that song so much. Ung um, Ung, um, oh my god that song is so good, hands down the best comeback of 2019, like no one has been able to top it. But yeah, these are pretty much my most played artists I guess. Okay, I think it cut off me talking about my playlist. I moved this sketchy card from here to here. Such a big deal, right? Like, so monumental. But I am hoping to get the last Yeji card from my M Wave group order. And then, um, yeah, then my Yeji set will be complete. I'm still not sure what I want to do with the pre order Polaroids. I have three of them, like three out of five. I feel like I might as well collect all five of them. But I also just might wait for a moment when I want to sell these. I'm kind of too attached to want to sell them right now. Also, I'm going to place a placeholder for my final card. I don't want to take that great care of this binder, honestly, but I'm hoping since I'm doing it on video that I will feel more inclined to. And so these are my other red velvet lenticulars. This is kind of like my dump page, I guess. Like I just throw whatever on this page. Um, as you guys can see, there's no organization whatsoever going on here, so. Yeah, and then the last thing that I have to put in here is my Irene postcard. In terms of these cards, not sure what I want to do with them. I think I am going to keep them, but don't really want to put them in my binder right now, so I think I might just leave them in my box. But in order to put this in, I'm going to need a 4x6 page. And Irene, I guess, is the only one who's gonna be on this page. Some another person asked me if I had to collect another group or soloist, who would it be? Someone, I've been like, this is like so random, and I posted about this on my story, and probably no one saw it coming, but a soloist I really want to collect, well, soloist now, is Jessica. I was watching my old photo card collection video, and when I say old, I mean like years ago, like so long ago, and I've already privated that video, so don't even try to find it. But I just really miss collecting Jessica. All of her cards and all of her merch were so pretty, and there was like so many things that I wasn't able to get, so I kind of just want to get everything that I never got now, if that makes sense. But 
yeah, I think I'm, I kind of want to collect Jessica, or if not Jessica, I kind of want to collect Chunga, but the only thing that sucks is that her Gotta Go album is out of print, and I don't know, I'm just not willing to pay above retail for it, so that's why I'm kind of holding off on Chunga, but all of Chunga's stuff is so pretty as well. Okay, I think that is it, right? I don't think I have anything else to do. This was mainly me talking, and yeah, sorry if you guys came for an ASMR type video because this definitely wasn't it but do let me know what format you guys prefer so that was it for my video I will link my Instagram down below and thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this format like I said let me know which one you guys prefer and yeah uh, hopefully I will have my proxy video coming out soon if you guys have any questions that you want me to address in it do let me know and I think that is it so peace out